Hey guys, Stuart here. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to share how to boost leads and sales using Google Ads for local service-based businesses. Today I'm going to show you the basic steps of a Google Ads strategy and also the key elements to creating effective Google Ads for service-based businesses. We are also going to create a compelling ad to help you get started and of course generating those leads in the form of emails, calls and physical traffic to your local service-based business. Now, Google Ads is a PPC marketing platform, pay-per-click marketing platform, meaning that you only pay for clicks that your adverts receive. This is a very effective marketing strategy for service-based businesses. Okay, so if that covered, let's dive straight into it. Now, before we begin, and if you haven't done so already, we need to create your Google Ads account. So the first thing is to head over to www.ads.google.com, choose your existing Gmail or create a new Gmail account. This is a simple process and it should only take a few minutes. And once you've done that, we can get started. Once you have logged into your Google Ads account, you will see an overview of your account. In this example, I'll use a practice account. Now, there are three important elements to understand. The first is the tools, setup, billing and payments. This is where you can update payment methods, make payments, or view your current spend. The second element is the overview graph. This shows your overall clicks, impressions, and costs. Now remember, this is a PPC marketing platform, pay per click. Now clicks are the amount of people that are clicking on your ads. Impressions are the amount of times your ads show up when someone searches for your product or your service type. And the cost or CPC, cost per click, shows how much it will cost you when someone clicks on your ad. This is the benefit of PPC campaigns. You can easily follow your performance. The third element is the left bar. This has important settings for improving your Google ad campaigns. We'll talk about this a bit more later on. Now, let's walk through the steps in creating your first Google ad campaign for generating leads and sales to your service-based business. First, we need to click campaigns, then navigate to the add campaign button. Click new campaign. Here we need to select a specific goal. Now our goal is to generate leads to our business, therefore we want to select leads as our business goal. Following this, we need to select a campaign type. We want to create a text-based ads that show when people type in our business service or relevant keywords to our service-based business. Here's an example of a text-based ad on Google's search network. This business provides house inspections and therefore has shown up when someone types the keyword house inspector. This is the type of ad we want to create, so select search. To reach this goal, it's important to select website visits and phone calls. Ensure you put in your correct website URL and business phone number. We don't want to put all this energy into creating these compelling, converting ads and then have people visiting other websites or calling different phone numbers. That wouldn't be ideal. Therefore, make sure your information is correct. The second step is campaign settings. The first thing we want to do is change the campaign name. Then we want to select the network that we want to target. For us, we want to target the search network, not the display network. Now choose the location that you want your ads to show up in. This is the location that you want to target. The example I'm going to use is my business provides property inspections. So that's the example I'm going to use throughout this tutorial. Now my business is located in a small city called Taringa. This is the service area for my small business. Following this, you want to choose the languages that your target audience speaks. Then choose your average spend for each day. Now, depending on your service type, local competition, and cost per click, this can vary greatly. So to find out how much on average your clicks will cost in your local city or region, click Tools, right-click Keyword Planner, click Find new keywords and type in keywords related to your service business. For example, the house inspector business 
would type in keywords like property inspections, house inspector, building reports, towering a house inspector. Now the keyword planner is a very powerful tool and it can help you a lot for market research. So the first thing you want to do is edit location. Remember the audience that you want to target? Type in that particular location. For me it's towering it. Then click enter. On the left you will see the other relevant keywords people search for on Google. You'll also see the search volumes per month, the competition, and the click cost to land on the top of Google. Use these figures to develop your spend per day. Remember, not every click leads to a sale. For my business example, I will put in $20 per day with the expectation of two to three clicks per day based on the keyword research we just did. The next section is bidding. We want to focus on clicks. As you get more advanced, you can focus on conversions. For now, we'll just focus on clicks. Add a max CPC cost per click, the highest amount you're willing to spend on each click for your Google Ad campaign. I will use $10 as my max CPC. The next section is ad extensions. This is important for your ad quality score and helps your ads perform better than your competitors. An example of ad extensions include location extensions, which show the business address on your Google ad. Then we have call extensions, which shows your phone number on your Google ad. Then we have site link extensions, which are extremely important and they help bulk up your ad and give your ad more content, which people like to see. It gives links to other pages of your website for example there could be a book now link a services link or a get in contact link so different links to different pages of your website these are important for small service-based businesses once you've created at least three of these ad extensions click save and continue now we need to set up ad groups the first thing we want to do is rename ad group one the next step is adding important key words. These are the key words that potential customers, your potential audience, are going to type into Google search to find your business. Now this is where keyword and market research is extremely important. There are three simple approaches to keyword research. The first is using the keyword planner we discussed earlier. The second approach is putting in your website and entering your service type. And the third approach is to type in your service type into Google search and find out the keywords that your competitors are using. For example, if I type in house inspections towering it, you can identify the keywords that competitors are using to rank their ads on Google. Now that we have our relevant keywords, you now want to put quotation marks around them to show that we want phrase matches only. Then click save and continue. In this section we can create our ad campaigns. The first thing you want to do is add your website URL, then add three unique headlines. Now it's important to make sure your headlines are captivating, they have a keyword or phrase, and a call to action. For example, house inspections towering it, property inspections from $299, call or book online today. As you can see, we have a keyword, house inspections. The ad is compelling by showing an attractive price, property inspections from $299, and the ad invites people to take immediate action, call or book online today. Then you want to add relevant text that resembles the information that potential customers will see on your website. Following this, we want to add full descriptions. It's important to make the most of all the space provided. Make the descriptions informative and similar to the information on your website. Once you've created your first ad, click done, then save and continue. Now your newly created ad is active. Congratulations. Here we want to click on ads and extensions. Down below, you will see your ads. Now we want to optimize your ads even further to improve your ads results. It is very important to create at least three to five ads under this campaign. Your budget will remain the same, however you will have more ad versions 
for Google to show to potential customers. All we need to do is click copy and edit. Do this process three to five times so you have three to five copies of this ad. And here you just need to change the text around, use different keywords, and change the description. Once you have created a new copy of your ad, click Save. If you would like to add extensions, you can do that here, or click Skip. We have created enough relevant extensions, so we will skip this stage. Now that you have created three to five ads, you can check all your settings and change them at any time. For example, you can add more keywords, you can limit the exposure of your ads to certain devices and you can change your targeted location. If you want to edit your budget, click settings. Here you can also pause your ads at any time. I'm happy with my settings for now, so I'll leave that as it is. And there we have it, you've launched your very first PPC Google ad campaign. Now your potential customers can book your services, they can find you online, they can call through to your business. Now your service-based business is up online, you'll start generating those leads and sales. That's exciting stuff. Now you want to check back to your overview at least once per week to view the data. After your first month, measure your results or your ROAS, your return on ad spend. You may need to further optimize your ads by adding important keywords or by changing your ads and settings. So play around with it a bit. However, this will get you started on the right track. The other option is to reach out to a Google Ads specialist like myself and get them to manage and further optimize your campaigns. By hiring an expert, there is a higher chance that your business will receive a higher ROI, return on investment. Thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, please subscribe, like, comment below. I'd love to hear from everyone. I wish you all luck in your marketing journey. And we'll see you in the next video. See you later.